Hello everybody and welcome to Modded Noiter. This is going to be a new Noiter series on my channel that's going to be taking over the previous one and we're going to be moving it to the weekly slot and taking over the weekend slot with something like Risk of Rain or other likewise games. Uh, but either way, this is Modded Noiter. I've been playing around with this for a long time behind the scenes in my own time and tweaking with values and messing with mods to try and get the best modded experience I can and I think I've found something I'm pretty happy with so I'm ready to bring this beautiful modded series to you guys. I'm super excited. As you guys know, many of you that watched on my channel will know that many of the games I play are modded. It's kind of one of the mainstays of my channel and Noita is no exception. Noita has some wonderful mods out there and we are going to be playing a little modded series and like I said, it's going to be a bit more of a regular series now, kind of a mainstay one because I enjoy the game so much and the mods do add a lot on a lot of content. So let's get right into it, get into a new run and I'll go over some of the mods that we're using because we are using quite a lot. And I'm sure some of you out there will want to know what we have on this series and try and recreate the mod list yourself. This game doesn't have a ton of mods compared to some others like Into the Gungeon or Binding of Isaac. But those that do do have are really, really high quality. So let's jump right in. First of all, we have our mods list here. So this is the mods we're using. We're using Gurkis Things, which is a collection of things to expand on the night experience. Lots of really good stuff in here. Things like champion enemies, new perks, new spells. New enemies adds a ton of new enemies, like 160 something, but you can turn individual enemies on and off whenever you want. So I've tweaked around and I've minimized the list down to about a third of what's actually available. And I'm really happy with the list that I've got with the enemies. I feel like the ones that we've got are both challenging, but not too overpowered and fit into Noita's style very well. We also then have the Spellbound Bundle, Risk of Items, Binding of Noita, and Tursaline's Pack, which all add new spells and some perks. Uh, of course, Risk of Items and Binding of Noita adds items from Risk of Rain and Binding of Isaac, which is pretty cool. Then we have Arcane Alchemy, Potent Potions, and Bottled Reactions, which are all to do with potions, adding literally hundreds of new potions. Some of the potions have the effect of spells, which is really cool. That's part of Potent Reactions. And other ones are ent entirely new potions, which have some really cool effects. And then Bottled Reactions, just allows liquids to react with each other within a potion, which is really cool. Then we have the Anvil of Destiny, which is a super cool mod. One of the highest rated ones on the workshop, which is essentially a random anvil that you can find um, in runs, just kind of randomly. And it allows you to combine and upgrade ones on the fly. It's really, really cool. Then we have more perks, magic in our veins, which both add new perks. More perks, of course, is just more perks. It adds quite a few different ones. And then magic in our veins adds um, a lot of perks that make you bleed different liquid, which I thought was really fun. It also allows you to change your blood liquid within holy mountains, which is also really fun. Uh, health containers adds a really small chance for enemies to drop health. It used to be a base value of 10%, but I've lowered that to around 2% to make it a little more balanced. But still, I liked having it because with all these mods, and especially with the new enemies the game is definitely a little harder so i tried to balance it out then we've got the randomized starter wand which just adds a whole hell of a lot more variety to the one that we start with it allows for new spells um, and it allows for um, different stats as well and then randomized robes and cheaper reroll prices randomized robes is cool we're gonna have different colored robes which would be really really interesting it's just gonna add a bit of visual bit of visual difference to each run in terms of what we look like and then uh, the cheaper reroll prices essentially this makes the scaling of rerolling perks a little less aggressive just because we've got so many more new perks um and then obviously the other ones there are the ones that we used before and as well we do have some some convict settings within the mods you can see here these are the enemies that i have enabled and disabled you can see i actually have quite a lot of them disabled i played around with a lot of them for a while and i feel like i've found a really really nice uh, middle ground we might still have to tweak with these as we play but we will see. Then we have Gurky's Things, which allows you to turn off spells from this mod and other mods. So we have um, a lot of different spells that are turned on and off. Again, this will be something that I tweak with as we play. Some spells I'll be turning on, some spells I'll be turning off. It depends on their power. But I found a pretty good balance already. Same with the perks. I found a pretty good balance. And because I'm using multiple different mods, I've made sure they don't overlap with existing perks from other mods, things like that. Uh, and then last of all, we have Champion Enemies. Champion Enemies enemies are really interesting essentially enemies have a chance to spawn with perks and i have these ones enabled here that you can see highlighted and i basically tried to find a really good balance of 
difficulty and fairness because champion enemies do drop a little bit extra money. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make sure that if we come across a champion, it's fairly impactful. It has it has the ability to do some extra damage to us. It's got a little bit more danger associated with it, and it's not just free money. I will say that in the first floor, it is usually a bit more um, a bit more apparent. You get quite a lot more um, champions, and you usually end up getting quite a lot more money than you normally would. But in the later floors, that definitely pays dividends because you end up coming across fewer champions, but when you do, they're usually bigger and stronger enemies, and that can really impact and make it more difficult. So we'll see how that ends up going. As well as two other things we have from Gurkis mod, randomized starting perk. If, I don't know if you guys are like this, but if you do, let me know. We're going to start with one random perk at the start of each run. Again, this is trying to change the power creep with modded. I think modded adds a decent amount of difficulty, so stand, starting with a random perk is interesting. And as well, we might end up starting with a bad perk. So it's kind of cool. And it'll let us see some of the new modded perks. And then alongside that, we can start with randomized health between 125 and 75 health. So we can get lower health, we can get slightly higher, but let's see what we're starting off with here. Pretty regular wand, just the double spark bolt, but let's jump on in and see what we go with. Here we've got one of the flags that says magic in our veins, use these banners to change our blood material. Essentially what that allows you to do is take multiple perks that change how your blood, like what you bleed, but keep the effects of each perk. So like one of them is um, steel blood, which makes you bleed steel, but you are immune to disc damage, so you can use Giga Saw Blade without getting hurt. But you, you might also then get something like Honey, which allows you to bleed Honey, but regenerate health when you're at low HP. And you might want the effect from one perk, but the blood from another. And it allows you to change that, which I think is a really, really cool idea. Also, bouncy perks here going crazy. Um, oh, damn, we've been set on fire. Um, we have snow here, unfortunately, so putting out fires isn't exactly the easiest for us. Hopefully we can find another potion, but we, we should hopefully see some more new enemies as you saw there. That's the eye bat. A very basic enemy, but still a new one. We're going to see quite a lot of new enemies on this first floor. And we've actually found something new already, the golden orb. This is a cool little thing that isn't actually modded. It's part of the new beta branch. When you kick it, it creates gold. But if you kick it too much, it explodes. So you've got to kind of toy around with if you want to, um, if you want to try and risk it and get as much gold as possible. Or if you want to risk taking damage. I'm going to go one more kick and one more kick. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> I went for one more. I got greedy. But it's a good way to earn a little bit of extra money at the start. But we'll start seeing some champion enemies about here soon, most likely. And you'll see some of them. I've, I've, I've really tried to pick the champions that I feel are the most impactful. Because some of the champions that were on by default really didn't make too much of an impact to how difficult the enemy was. And they still gave you extra money. Because the champions themselves don't have any extra HP. Only a few champions that specifically have the abilities that give extra HP have the extra HP. So champions are still just as easy to kill sometimes, but you'll get extra money. Ooh, we've got another new enemy there. This is like a bunch of flies that are gathered in an acid ball. Uh, so when you shoot them, they'll drop a bit of acid. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Let's drop a bomb there, shall we, and carry on our way. Because so we've got a wand down here that we'll be able to grab. And we've got whatever this is, which I'm assuming is a chest. Okay, grab you. Circle of freezing. There we go. Oh, that didn't that didn't quite work as well as I thought it would, but hey-ho. Get a nice amount of gold there. Damn, I'm, I'm surprised the circle of freezing doesn't put the fire out, but hey-ho. Right, let's keep moving on. Nice amount of gold to start here. Still still playing as, as we normally do. We want to try and get about 400, maybe a little more on our first run here before we end up dipping out. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we end up getting here, shall we? Uh, let's move over this way. But yeah, there's quite a, quite a lot of new enemies that we'll see on this first floor. Probably quite a lot of champions as well. Uh, the, I, I've tweaked the champions a hell of a lot in terms of their rarity as well. The the base level of finding a champion is lower than normal. Uh, unfortunately, that's a setting that you cannot change within the mod itself in-game. You have to go into the config files of the mod in your Steam Workshop files. Um, so that does take a little longer. Um, but... It was worth doing. And I also then, on top of that, tweaked the rarity of each champion themselves. So some of them will be really rare. There's our first one look. That's a, that's a Stendari, a fire boy, um, that has extra damage and extra, um, extra, I think it's, I think it's just extra damage. We can actually go and take a little look here. If we, if we move away from him real quick and just go up to here and go to champions, 
That gives melee projectile and dash damage is greatly increased, but shot speed is decreased. So a pretty a pretty tricky enemy, honestly. Um, that, that could be a difficult one. We also saw one of the spider mutations down here, this guy. Uh, this guy is a dude that, that splits into a bunch of spiders when you kill him and can throw spiders at you. But I do like fighting these guys. They're very, very tanky, as you can see, very resistant to um, projectile damage. But the good thing about these guys is they drop a bunch of enemies that themselves can be champions that give a bunch of money. So this is a really good way of getting a bit of extra gold really fast. And this is what I was saying, by early game, you tend to get a lot more gold in modded. But it's, it's very balanced out by the fact that there's a lot more spells and perks and stuff so you're going to be wanting to re-roll more uh, i have an ability to re-roll the perk sh uh, the, the spell shop as well so there's even more re-rolls on top of that can i can i do this to you what happens when i do that to you Ooh. i'm surprised that doesn't insta kill him but i'm glad it does what it does yeah you guys need to go away please step away dude if he hits us, it will do insane damage. I've been hit by this champion before. Never a, never a Stendari, but I've been hit by that champion before. And the amount of damage they do is like a, around about seven or eight times what they normally do. Okay, so there we got another champion, the Cloud Burst. We got this little spider dude. This guy, the spiders he creates actually don't give you any gold, which is interesting. Drop that on him. So yeah, he creates all these spiders, but none of these are going to give us any gold. So let's just keep moving on. We've got plenty of gold now, so let's uh, let's try and make our way out of this floor. That was a pretty good start. Pretty good start. Drop that there and move up here, shall we? We did get one wand. I was hoping for a, one or two more, but one is good enough for now. We've got this guy here. This dude. Oh, that's a worm. Hello. Uh, one of the champions that I saw there was actually um, one that uh, bleeds lava. Oh, God. This guy has... Um... Really? Well, okay then. Um, so we skipped a holy mountain. Not what I was expecting, but there you go. Thank you for that worm. Thank you for that. I'm seeing if I can find the entrance back into the holy mountain. But I do. I would like to go into it. Okay, I've gone a bit far here. That's not fair, game. <laughs> a worm just absolutely screwed that for us. But hey ho, that's what happens in Noita sometimes. Sometimes worms do ruin everything. Okay. Let's have a little look. So the worm has managed to make his way down. It just depends if we can find the holy mountain. Hmm. Following his trail. Okay, I don't really know where the holy mountain is. I've lost it. Because the thing is, we can still get into it. It might trigger the collapse, but we should still be able to buy our perks and such. We just won't be able to edit our wands. Yeah, stay away from you real quick. Yeah, please don't hit me. Th this guy is a slightly weaker version of the previous champion we saw. He still has increased damage, but not as much, and he doesn't have the increased shot speed. Okay. So that is going to trigger the collapse. So we have to be careful about that. Ooh, I've just realized something. Ow. What the hell? What the hell? What's going on? I'm confused. Really, the bomb rolled so far away. Why was I getting hurt then? Okay, so unfortunately, that worm has ruined everything for us, and we can't get any of our perks. And we're also at really low health now for some reason. Ooh, this, this is a jellyfish look. Very cool new enemy. And it has the extra health champion modifier. Dropped us quite a lot of gold. And it drops jelly, a new material. Ooh, back. Oh, no. He, he bleeds lava. Leave me be. We're going to die. We're so dead. Just drop down as far as I can. Escape all of this. I'm covered in slime right now as well, which really isn't helping my cause. It's making me go very slow. Right. Please, no. I just want to leave. I think I've hit a dead end here. Did 
just leave me alone. Oh my god. We're at one HP. Oh my god, we made it. <laughs> we had to basically skip an entire floor there, but we made it. My god, that was kind of crazy. Okay, so we can finally show off the shop. Let's first of all go and see what we want to buy in terms of uh, perks. Ooh, great. We got a uh, projectile repulsion field. Definitely take that. And we got some new perks here already. So, this one, Arcane Volley. Very, very good. Um, cast two spells, the first of which drops multiple of the second over time. This can create some very cool ones. As you can see, uses a lot of mana though. So we won't use that yet. They're just nice to have for later. We have Zap. We'll take Zap. A short-lived electric spark. We can put that as our main. How about we do... <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Hmm. That could be pretty good. Um, this has more mana on it, so maybe we'll try it on this, even though it's a shuffle wand. Give it a go. Um, I think we'll buy Concentrated Light. Concentrated Light's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Charm on Toxic Sludge is kind of interesting. Protection's rather nice. That means that we can't hurt ourselves with, um, with spells. And we've got Air Bears here as well. That's pretty good too. Critical on Bloody Enemies. Let's try this out. Let's go Air Bears, Critical on Bloody Enemies. Cool. We've got Bouncy Spells, so this is going to be pretty good. And then we've got this wand if we want to try and go crazy. If we want to go crazy, we have this wand. That's kind of interesting. So Air Bears is really cool. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell's that? I don't know what happened there. Um, I did not mean to do that. I dropped a bomb by accident. No. But yeah, air burst is pretty cool. Essentially, it means if a projectile gets near an enemy, it detonates and hits them in a radius. It may basically, it means that you don't have to be accurate with your shot. Although it does, from what I'm noticing now, kind of nerf the ability of bouncy shots. And it's using a lot, lot, a lot more mana than I expected to. We are getting good kills, though. Nice. And we can kill things through walls partially as well. Definitely want a, a, just a regular water potion at this point. There you go. As you can see, only 12 damage on a crit, though. 61. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, grab you. Got some stuff going on over here. Oh, we got glue gunners. These are some new enemies that are part of the beta branch. They're not actually modded. They do look it, but they're not. Oh, we got some health there. <laughs> I kind of love that. That's really cool. We need a better wand to, to host this ability. Because at the minute, it's not really doing what we need it to. Don't you snipe me. So we're gonna try and look for a wand to this floor, but this is going this is going pretty well. Grab you. <laughs> Best on this guy. But yeah, I just love some of the, the very unique modded spells that get added with this with this setup that I've got going on. There's some really, really cool ones. And we have a new wand type here as well. Let's have a look what this is. Pretty good wand. We'll definitely take that. Um kick that before it kills me. New enemy here as well, look. Basically, uh, Uko, but ice version. They're not These guys aren't anywhere near as deadly as the electric ones, but they're still, they're still pretty deadly. Yeah. We got a chest here as well, which is pretty nice. Trying to use my mana as effectively as possible here. There we go, we got him. Air burst is kind of laggy though. Grab all that. Open the chest. Oh, we got a we got a coup, a little moon. 
And then we got Empty Persian, which is essentially exactly what I've been looking for, because I want to fill that up with water. When we find the next pool of water, we'll go for that. Ooh, and we've been hit by a very interesting spell here. So this, this is a meager offering. If we cover ourselves in it, any liquid near us, which is actually a bad thing right now, because we do want the liquid, but any liquid near us turns to ice. This electricity is great. It's just a shame we've got it on, um... A shame we've got it on the wrong cast type. But as you can see, just everything's turned to rice. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, there's some really wacky Persians. Really wacky Persians. 50 on a crate, that's great. It's not going to crack open. There we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Wasn't expecting you. My god. Actually, you guys are fighting. Oh, I tried to lob a bomb in there, but it didn't really work. No, I just want the gold. I was getting greedy. I'm sorry. I might die here. This is, yeah, I was going to say, I was way too close to that bomb. <laughs> oh. oh, well, let's carry on going. But there, there we go. That's, a, that, that, that's a, a very good first run to introduce us to modded, even if we did have to skip a whole holy mountain, which is probably one of the reasons that we didn't do as well. But let's see what we started out with this time. We've got ourselves a fairly decent wand with a split bolt with timer, which unfortunately on its own doesn't do great. And we've got concentrated uh, spells. Your spells have lower spread, but they push you back more. Interesting. So we don't have to worry about spread as much. Also, this is a lot of gold here. Wow, that was a lot of gold to get right off the bat. Ow. Luckily, we have water this time, though. This is good damage. Very scared of this man. Especially because when he bleeds lava. Ow. I, I went in for the gold. Certainly not my best move. Let's keep on going though. My god. Let's keep on going. But as you can see, the random, uh, the random robe colors are great here. They look so good. Okay, so I think if we put this here. Nope. Oh, no, it, it worked. It worked. We can get this maximum HP here. Lots of water falling down on us. I'm actually going to drop this in here again. Just to get down on an extra level a bit quicker. Because I see a wand down there or something. Yes, it's a wand. Good. Only a bomb wand. But I suppose that's more bombs for us to use, so I'm not going to complain. And there's our first champion here. Killed him in a single hit. So as you can see, the bonus 50% health, that's what that champion modifier did, isn't really going to help when we have a wand that does this much damage. Um, but it's still cool to see them. And later on, when you get to some of the harder enemies and they have that modifier, oh boy, you're in for a challenge. Especially once you get to the jungle and onwards is where I've noticed that champions really take a toll. Because enemies in that area, like the big spider dude, the big green guys, have insane HP already. So if, you, if they get a modifier that gives them HP or get a modifier that makes them bleed lava, there's a lot of things that can make them very much more deadly than they normally are. We've got these little bats here. Lots of spiders about. Lots and lots of spiders. These guys have projectile resistance. They're taking a little longer to kill. Don't move away from it. Okay, thank you. We're at 400. I think we should just go. There's a bit more money that we can get out of that floor, but I'd rather start this journey straight away and see what we end up getting. Um, we got some pretty interesting stuff here already. We got uh, extra an extra spark bolt. We got a trigger on hit, so we can actually add a trigger to an item. That's pretty good. Let's buy that. Let's buy a luminous drill as well. We've got a teleport. I think I'll buy a teleport. Here, this is pretty interesting. Dimage, which is... Uh, a damage up per projectile on the wand. I think it's good to take that for later. We'll grab this as well. Um, and yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Let's see what we get over here. 
hey, we got something pretty good already. So we got promote spell, which makes something always cast. You can you can make a spell always cast, which is really, really good. Especially, I think Luminous Drill might be a good shout for that. Adding Luminous Drill, would not would that not make it so that we can um would that not make it so that we can do kind of insane insane stuff? Cast a spell that triggers another spell on collision. Wait, let's see. Mm, I don't, would this? Would I have to do this? No. Um, put this here, maybe. Yes, yeah, so that's how you do it. So you can add triggers to things. Oh, with with the accuracy, this is great. Um, or you could promote one of these to um to an always cast. I don't know what that would be best on. So always casters don't drain mana, do they? So let's. Let's try putting that on there and promoting it to an always cast. That is not very good, but if we get ourselves the ability to fire faster, that'll work quite nicely, so I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, this is okay, but that's a really cool spell. Promote is very useful. The earlier you get it, the worse it is, but you, you can make some very, very powerful ones with that because you can essentially pick and choose what becomes an always cast. And in the late game, that becomes very essential. You can create some very good ones with that. But yeah, this, this could become a very powerful wand later. Okay, the fire's, the fire's taking care of more, more of this than I can, uh, than I can manage. So thank you, I guess. Let's jump in here. Luckily, this is very easy to cut through. I'm, I, I kind of want to just plant a bomb in here. There you go. Because there's a good wand in there, and I want it. Give me that good wand. Um, Yeah, very good wand indeed. Very happy with that. Um, And we have uh, ourselves an arcane bookshop. Which isn't very powerful. But... The actual wand itself is what I'm more more happy with, to be honest. Right, let's see what else we can find this floor. Again, we're going to want to be trying to make as much money as we possibly can here. We want to try and get ourselves up to um, around five to 600. It's usually possible on this floor, especially when you get moments like this. Holy hell, there's a lot going on. We have a very good wand for dealing high damage as well, and there's an electric one. They're, they're, they're champions that are very, very deadly, because the um, the electric ones, if they get you while you're near water, they electrify all of the water and pretty much instantly kill you. So one of the champion types that I really like, because they're, they're, they're very dangerous, but in a very unique way. You have to be in a very specific situation for them to hurt you. But if you're in that situation and one drops into the water you're in, there ain't no coming back, really. We've got another new enemy over here, actually. Um, I'll try and show this one off. Let, let me kill this guy first. This guy is infested. Ah, I didn't manage to get it. Um, that guy was infested. But that one there, the one that just dropped off the ceiling, if you pass underneath it or shoot it without killing it, it starts to drop weak acid, which is essentially acid that does the same amount of damage when you're in it, but it does not eat through the earth. So it piles up. And the longer you keep it alive, the more acid piles up, and it becomes very, very deadly. Um, and you can find those on the first floor as well. So those enemies can be kind of sneaky, especially when you first start playing with the new enemy mods. They catch you out quite a lot. We, we have great damage right now. Great damage. Ow. Okay, yet another good wand here. These little pink ones that have the white bit in the middle are always good ones. Or tend to always be good ones, should I say. Good. These guys are really difficult. Apparently, these hunter dudes, that guy with the axe, was actually a cut enemy that was meant to be in the game. Um, I think we do take that. Yeah, we'll take it over this. And we'll just switch those two around real quick. Now we have two very good ones to go at later on. Very good to see. And we've, we've made our way down. I'd like a little bit more money first. And I'm at 60 HP, so I've got enough HP to, to make some other strides, I think. To give it another go elsewhere. Let's make our way back up this way and go to the left. See what we get. There is some really cool enemies that you can find in this in this area. There's actually a boss that you can find rarely. 
Um, it's like a it's like a minor boss that throws TNT at you. That that's a really cool enemy. It's basically one of these guys, but like a big version of them. And they drop like a wand and extra health when you kill them. But they're very difficult to kill. You have to have a wand similar to this one that does like a lot of damage early game to get the kill. Let's quickly check out this wand. Reduce knockback. Um, let's have a little look. See. Um. I'm gonna take it over this wand. That that one's really good, but I want one. I want a wand with a little bit extra capacity on it. And that one just has the extra capacity we need. Okay. Last little venture here, and then we'll make our way out. So I can hear some enemies down here. Where are you at? Where are you at? I heard them. They must. They must be over to the left this way. It's the little pink guys, because they do that little screaming thing when they... Oh, my God. <laughs> Bodies and money falling from the sky. Okay, some stuff has gone down over here. Okay, that guy's real deadly. Real deadly. So, as you can see, this guy has major speed boosts. 75% increased movement speed. He needs to die before he gets near us, because that... I think that also increases attack speed, too, which will be not very good. False spell. A spell that quickly um, dissipates. Interesting. And we've got yet another fine wand here. Um, I actually think that we take it over this one. And this one's a little bit better. Only two capacity, so kind of hard to use effectively, but... If you do manage it... Oh, hello. Okay. This will be, be it now. This is it for us. Don't get hit by this guy. Oh, get covered in poison, why don't I? Very hard to hit with this very low spread, to be honest. <laughs> Having a hard time with that. Okay. There's a lot of um a lot of fire and lava around here, so let's be careful. Oh, health, grab it. We got ourselves um formation, Engon. Cast all remaining spells in a circular pattern. Summon large explosive and trigger with timer. Interesting. I don't think we need that though. So much lava. So much lava. Okay, here we go. We're on our way down now. This was our last stop. Let's go. Okay, let's jump in here, refill our water real quick. And we've got some good ones to work with now, I think. Some very good ones to work with. Ooh, and we got some Risk of Rain spells too. Um, interesting. So we got ourselves this here, which is one of my favourites. Um, both in Risk of Rain in this game. Let's make it glasses. Plus 20% chance to crit. Great stuff. Um, so I think I think we start off by taking this. We've also got um, mana recharge, which, of, as as it says, recharges our mana quicker. Um, so let's let's quickly get rid of some of this, and then I think we go boom, 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 and then. Actually, let's move move all of this over one. Plop on that. Actually, let's move it over one more. And put on that as well. And then go with... Hmm. What would be, what would be best here? We could go with this, the prickly spore shot. Let's try that out. And then that's on our last wand here. Let's move this forward. Do you know what? That kind of works out quite well. I like that. We've also got this here as well, which is their uh, Turpaz Brooch. So we can um, get a shield after killing things. We have a lot of ones that we're not using right now. Um, can't really go for a reroll there. Let's see what we've got here. Blood Pact, Invisibility, Kills to Mana. Let's, let's reroll those. Let's go for something a little better. Repelling Cape, Stay and Stop at a faster rate. Deal three times damage when you're at 25% HP. Or this one, which I believe is... I don't know why it does this sometimes, but I believe this is exploring a new area heals us. Let's have a little look-see. I don't know why that's not... It's, like, bugged out. Because that, that's not even a modded one, so I'm not sure what's, what exactly has happened with that, but... Kind of interesting. Okay. 
I think we carry on. We're not really using any of our other wands right now, but that's fine. I was tempted to break out of the of the holy mountain to be able to come back in and edit wands, but I think we'll do that next floor. There's a healing path following us. Oh, it's because we went entered a new area, of course. So this is a very interesting little setup we've got going on now. We fire this and it makes into the shroom. We just got to keep our distance because those um those shrooms can damage us. But it does mean that like firing at a distance like this actually kind of works out for us. Ow. Um I think I'll take that. It's only a small amount of damage. Ooh, we got a fire dude here. Imbued with fire and immune to fire itself. You. This is a pretty cool, unique wand we got here. We got more meager offering there, turning everything into rice again. Good. Grab you. Stay away from that. Really depends on where the where the thing ends up bouncing to. Oh god, let's get out of here. Use this as cover. There's a lot of gold over there that I very much want, so I'd like to kill all these. I think it dropped below. There we go. Covered in blood. Down the bloodstream we go. Okay. Grab you. Ooh, that guy was infected as well. That was a pretty bad bit of damage there. That's okay. It's okay. I love it when you can create a, a really cool, like, interesting wand like this. I mean, th this one's relatively dangerous, I, I will admit. It's still interesting, though. Away with you. Oh, ho, 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 the trick kill. The trick kill. Love that. Smack that right into that guy. Oh, this guy bleeds acid. Uh, venom, even. Um, we got ourselves Lightning Trigger. This is another interesting wand here. I really want to keep this, but I really don't know if we're going to get to use it. I tried it out and it just didn't really work, so I think I'm going to swap it. It's sad to see an always cast go, especially when I used a perk on it. But at the same time, I think we're going to get better elsewhere. Um, and this this wand is actually pretty cool. Like, it turns into Zeus himself. Look at that. Ow. Oh, oh, big boss guy. This guy can be dangerous. Oh, this, this one does insane damage, though. Holy hell, this one does good damage. That guy can be very dangerous. He's kind of a boss. Where's this sniper? There you are. Oh, look. We got ourselves the... Um, we got ourselves what we were looking for. This is the... Uh, the wonderful, wonderful Anvil of Destiny. So we can put wands on there and combine them to make new ones. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to throw this one on there. And I'm going to throw this one on there and see what we get. Sometimes there's a sound effect. This time it didn't for some reason. We got ourselves a splitter bolt with timer and a spark bolt with trigger. And the wand itself is very good. So very happy with that. Give me all this gold. I see the gold hiding up there in the ceiling. I see it all hiding. We've got a good amount of gold now, actually. Yeah, you can get a bit of gold from the ceiling from these things. One thing you got to be careful of is that you don't destroy them, though, because they get angry if you destroy them. <laughs> I learned that out the hard way. Okay. Oh! I mean, that killed you anyways. And that killed you as well. Haha. -ha. Also, it seems these mushrooms count as accident kills. So we're getting a little bit more gold if we kill with them. Which is really nice. Extra gold is always great. Oh, we got another one. Very, very rare. It's a 5% chance to see these. So getting two is, is very rare. Got our extra gold. Drop all that off. All that gold drop down. Good, good. I don't think we need to use the second one. That one's just kind of there as an extra. Because we've got enough gold here. Let's just go. Oh, that's a lot of fire. That's a lot of fire and oil. Let's see what we got there. Got some new wands. 
This wand here is really good. If we can get some stuff to put on that, that'd be great. Have a little look, see. Um, we've got oh, slow projectiles, but do double damage. Ooh. That seems very good. For 630, we could get that. We got a lot of lightnings here. Uh, we got ourselves two way fireball thrower. On, again, a pretty good wand. I'm going to buy that wand. And let's. Let's swap this up a little bit, shall we? Let's go with that. And then go with faster mana recharge. Also, we got the prion accumulator here. Pretty good. Wait, the fireball thrower doesn't trigger on this. Maybe we do this instead then? Yes, please. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've made a good one there. We've made a very good one there. Uh, and let's just keep this as a teleport wand. Why not? We bought that ages ago. We might as well use it. Let's see what perk we've got. This is a really cool one, this. Lost treasure. It's not always great, but every bit of money from all the previous floors that you missed is returned to you. It's great. I'm not going to take it because we've only been to a few previous floors. So I'm actually going to take Plague of Rats. But it's a very cool new perk. Uh, we're going to teleport out of this holy mountain here. Just so it doesn't trigger the collapse. Then we can get back in. Oh my god. Oh, new enemy here. Cyborg. Got you. Lots of gold there lost. That's okay. Gotta be careful using this lightning here. Because, of course, lightning is electric. And it will electrify the metal that we're stood on. We want to be very careful about that. Don't be standing on metal when we're using this gun. In fact, let's get the hell away from all of this. We got him. Them cyborgs are dangerous. They're very fast. Very aggressive. As you can see. This one bleeds lava too. Oh my god. This is dangerous. Um, This is again, yet another very, very good wand. Um, I think we actually take it over this one. Even though I liked that wand. This one seems a little better. But yeah, we've got to be careful when using this, but this thing's a powerhouse right now. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We don't even really need the, the mushroom here, but it's nice to be able to get the uh, extra money every now and again, so I'm going to keep it. This guy's a pain, and he's a champion, so be very careful around him. Oh, I just hit myself for 45 damage. That was really dumb. I'm in a pretty tight spot here, actually. I don't, I don't like where I am. Oh, my God. He got hit really hard, then. What the hell's going on down here? There's just a million things happening. Let's try and do this. Just lightning storm below us. And hope for the best. No, I killed myself. Oh, such is the way of Noiter. <laughs> I was being super careful and I hit a tiny pixel. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction into the new modded Noita series. Of course, there'll be much, much more of this coming. I hope you guys really like this new series. I'm really excited to get into it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.